Okay, so I thought I'll just do a quick, uh, well, silly video of me uh, screwing around with an old uh, old watch. I found this thing in a drawer um, while I was like cleaning it out, and it's my old smartwatch. Um, I had one of these just for fun uh, before even the Apple Watch was released, I think. Um, it's a DZ09 is what it's called, DZ09. And uh, it still works, which is strange. Um, this thing is actually a smartwatch phone. Um, it's a phone as well. You can put a SIM card in this thing. Uh, charges via micro USB, has a detachable battery. It's pretty thick as well. Um, I have an Apple Watch here for reference. Uh, this is a 40 millimeter, uh, 42 millimeter series five. As you can see there, it's way bigger. Let me grab an older model. As you can see, it's also way bigger. Um, wait, let me get a bigger model. Well, here's a, here's a 44 millimeter series one. Uh, as you can see, it's way bigger than these things. Um, I used it for like two months and then I just tossed it in a drawer because it was horrible. Um, like I said, it's called the DZ09 and even uh, Unbox Therapy had this thing on his show once. There are a lot of variations of this watch. Um, there are so many versions of it. Uh, it's really hard to keep track. And there are, even on XDA forums, there are a lot of like custom mods that you can do with this thing because it has micro USB and it's basically open source. You can just do whatever you want with it. Flash custom firmware. There's a bunch of uh, nice custom firmwares that people had made for this thing. I didn't really go to bother installing all that. Um, it has a basic bunch of functions. Um, also, before we jump right in, I want to say that I'm on BitChute now. So if you're a BitChute user or you're ever thinking of going to BitChute, now's the time because I'm on BitChute as well. And I'm posting this video itself on BitChute. So you can go follow me on BitChute using the links down in the description below. Also hit that like button, uh, subscribe to my channel down below as it helps me out a lot. Also hit that bell notification button and follow me on Instagram, Discord and Twitter as well. Um, so let's start off with the apps on this thing. First, we got messaging. Let me open that off camera because I don't know what I uh, have sent. Well, no, all my messages are empty is my Bluetooth messages. Yeah, everything's empty. Um, messaging's empty. Oh, I, you can put a memory card in this thing. I took the memory card out because it stopped working. Um, you got a bunch of messages. You can actually like link this to your phone and it works better with Android as I remember. <clears throat> I, uh, I tried to attach it to my iPhone 6 back then and it, it only could accept calls and send text messages, but you couldn't really use the other functions. Uh, well, I don't think you could even send text messages with an iPhone, but you had to have an, you had to have an Android phone for it to work properly. Uh, call logs, you have all your call logs and stuff. This is a basic touchscreen. It actually works nicely. The touchscreen is pretty, pretty, uh, it, it's pretty good. We've got Bluetooth. That's how it connects. Uh, Bluetooth dialer. So you can use a Bluetooth to dial from your phone, from this thing itself. And like I said, this thing can act as a watch alone. When I take it all, take it apart, I'll show you, um, the SIM card reader. This has a SIM card reader in it. So you got remote. Bluetooth uh, notifier, I don't know what the hell that is. Remote camera, so you can use this watch as a remote for your camera, like the I, like the Apple Watches, uh, let me show you that. Uh, the shutter app, where is it here? Look, let me go here. Um, the shutter app, this thing, like you can, uh, you can use this as a camera shutter uh, for your phone. Um, you keep your phone on the tripod and all that stuff and you can use it as a camera shutter. So it has the remote camera feature as well. I'm also sorry for the lighting. It's kind of bad, but I got to work with it. We got a anti-lost feature, which never works. Uh, settings, phone settings, profile, security, connectivity. Um, they call it phone settings because this is technically a phone. Let's see if we can increase the brightness. Yeah, we can. Um, back, it never stays. Uh, Okay, okay, there we go. Um, security settings, it has a password for some reason. I don't know, I never used it. Um, connectivity profiles, etc., etc. Um, we got pedometer. Uh, the pedometer um, doesn't really uh, doesn't really count properly. The yeah, the, the pedometer is pre pretty bad. 
Um, I used it a couple of times. It doesn't even use GPS. I don't know what the hell it uses to track you. Um, probably an average walking pace. I'm not sure. But the pedometer is pretty crap. We have reminder, sleep monitor, which obviously doesn't work. This thing has no sensors at the back, so I don't see how a sleep monitor will work. Reminder, quick. What's that? A barcode reader? It has a camera here, but I don't think the camera is good enough for a barcode reader. Um, Uh-oh, not again. This, this watch has a really bad habit of sometimes just shutting off by itself. Um, okay, menu, okay. So we got that, we got alarm, find me, calendar, image viewer. Let's see if we have anything on this. Nope, you need a memory card. Uh, calendar, alarm, find me. Audio player, this thing can actually play audio. You can actually connect a pair of Bluetooth headphones to this thing and it'll play audio off that. Bluetooth music, sound recorder, it's awful. Let's hit the camera, let's see. The camera is angled at a weird angle, as you can see there, so. Let me get an iPod here. And as you can see, it's a 0 0.3 megapixel camera. Or is it even less? I think it's 0 0.3 megapixels, but it's fun to know that they crammed that in there. Uh, it works, you can take photos on that if you want. It's great as a spy camera while holding it like that. WhatsApp. You need an Android phone for that to work properly. Facebook, you also need an Android phone or you need the SIM card in this thing. Browser, file manager, Twitter, I don't know. And there's a way to download apps onto this like uh, XDA, the people at XDA had made apps for this thing. Um, it's got a bunch of watch faces, let me show you. And the watch faces depend on the model, weirdly. Um, oh, there it does that again, see? It turned off by itself. Yeah, this happens. So it, either you gotta remove the battery and turn it on again, or uh, you gotta wait like 10 minutes, which was one of the main reasons I stopped using it. I'll just take the battery off. Um, the watch faces are pretty crap either way. So I'll show you those at the end. So let's uh, take the battery off here. Let me show you the insides. Um, mini SIM card reader, is it mini or micro? Well, it's a micro SIM. We got an SD card reader over there. So it's technically a phone. Um, pretty interesting stuff there. Uh, I used to have a memory card in here. These batteries are actually sold separately. You can buy as many as you want, uh, considering the battery life is pretty crap. 380 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt, um, charging voltage 4.2. Mm, let's put that back there. Sometimes it won't even turn on uh, after that, like, that thing happens like the uh, the uh, display does not turn on again. Even if you press the button, it takes a long time to turn on. The only way to reset it is with that. So you get to see the turn on screen as well. Welcome. I've turned the sound off. The microphone is also here. This is, though it looks like metal, it's actually plastic. Uh, nope, 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 go away. Um, I used to have a screen protector on this. I, I think I still do have the screen. Yeah, the screen protector is still on. I actually bought a screen protector for this thing, weirdly. Oh, here's the face. So that's one standard dial and you, oh, how do I, how do I change? Is there a way to like freaking, oh, I think you gotta go to settings to change it. I don't know, for phone settings. Uh, how do you change? There was a couple of them. Uh, connectivity. There's a couple of faces to choose from, but how do I change them? As I remember, it was just you got to swipe. Nope. Sit like that. Nope. I don't know. There's a way to change them. I forgot, but there are like three. So, and it varies from model to model because there are so many subcategories of this thing. Oh, there we go. You gotta, you gotta do that. You gotta swipe it to that side partially, not properly, like just like that. There you go. You don't want to full swipe it. So you got that. You got the sundial kind of thingamajig, the, the night sky, which doesn't work. And you got the chronometer with non-functioning dials on the side there. Pretty weird stuff. Anyway, just a quick video just to show you an old smartwatch. I'm going to turn it off and toss it back where it came from. Oh, it stopped working again. Perfect. 
Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.